let's get right into this. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Smith and Lolly. Of course, I'm your boy, Smith. And today we're going to be talking about comic book movies. Now, normally we would do a Movie Monday video on one particular movie. However, I've been reading in the, like on social media and just all over the place about flack that this one movie, one of the movies that we're going to talk about in particular has been getting and I really don't think it's fair. So stick around to the end of this video and let's get, let's have a good discussion about comic book movies. So listen, I know, I get it. Normally we discuss horror films when it comes to Smith and Lolly because that's my favorite genre. Um, but I also like comic movies too. I usually don't get into it because there's already like so much and I stopped reading comic. Like right now, Marvel's getting into a phase that I don't really know anymore because they're getting to a phase where I started to outgrow the comics and you know, so I don't know a whole lot about them. However, I do love movies, always have, live my life like I'm in a movie. So we're going to talk about four particular films today. And I think they're they're fairly recent, okay? Now those four movies, and to keep it fair, we're going to talk about two DC properties and two Marvel properties. DC films we're going to discuss is going to be Black Adam and Shazam 2, Fury of the God. Uh, the Marvel properties we're going to discuss will be Black Panther 2, Wakanda Forever, and it's going to be Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Let's sip it. Ooh, child. Gotta get that more Joe Joe going. All right, so listen. First things first. I am not the guy to say the books don't matter. So no matter what we say in this video, do not think that that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying at all the comic books do not matter. Okay, let's make that clear. I'm also not saying that every film studio gets it right. I mean, come on. What X-Men did to Deadpool and Wolverine, come on, come on, come on. That was Fox, I believe, but yeah, no. So, but look at Sony, Spider-Man with Sony, they, they were great until Marvel got them and they got even better, but times have changed. Uh, you know, technology has changed. The, the computer generation has changed. So it's, everything is just different. With that being said, here, let's start with by saying this. I believe that Christopher Reeve was the quintessential Superman until Henry Cavill. I personally believe Henry Cavill was born to play Superman. Hell, when I think of Superman, well, I don't even think of the comic version of where I don't see Christopher Reeve anymore. I see Henry Cavill. He's Superman. Jack Nicholson was the Joker. For me, hands down. Until, now we're not counting animated series. Come on, we, we know what Hamill did. We, we're not counting animated, but as far as in the film, Jack Nicholson, way to get a load of me. Come on classic until Heath Ledger now Heath Ledger is the quintessential Joker okay oh don't get me wrong Joaquin Phoenix the Joker I love that movie totally different I love, I love that comic books have so many different universes and multiverses and stuff that we can do that we can have all these different films and all these different characters play just characters you know what I'm trying to say you know what I mean but that's the lure of comic book movies so I want to get that out the way. Like, you know, I think the person playing the character 
is definitely super important. Important. Um, I don't think Ben Affleck did a bad job as Batman. I liked him. But comparing him to Christian Bell, I don't know. Robert Pattinson did a good job as the version of Batman he was playing. Uh, I get it. Michael Keaton, for me, <laughs> again, was Batman until Christian Bell. So now when I think of Batman, I always pop in my head, wait, Christian Bell. Even though Michael Keaton's coming back. Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton, go, dude. And you've played in so many comic book movies. And not even to mention your movie, Birdman, which wasn't on a real comic book. Oh, great film. If you haven't seen Birdman, check it out. Not the Birdman here on YouTube. I love his videos, too. Check him out. But Birdman, the movie. Anyway, back. I'm getting off track. Okay, so. First things first. I've heard people, like, I don't know what. DC is thinking not having Henry Cavill and Dwayne The Rock Johnson reprise those roles. Dwayne The Rock Johnson was played was born to play Black Adam. Period. Did a great job. Black Adam, I thought it was a decent movie. We'll get into that. Like I said, so you got these main characters and you got the right actors in those roles. You know, same thing. Let's go over to Marvel. Uh, let's be honest. Robert Downey Jr., that's, that's Iron Man. Period. Period. That's Iron Man. Um, uh, Garofalo playing the Hulk. You know, no disrespect to Ed Norton or anyone who came before him. I mean, obviously, Lou Ferrigno, for me, because I came in the 80s, was the Hulk. But, yeah, Mark... Mark... Mark <laughs> Ruffalo. <laughs> Mark Ruffalo is now the Hulk, period. Oh, and Thor, come on. Come on, I don't even call him by his real name anymore. He's just Thor now. I do want to see him play Hulk Hogan, though. You know what I mean? And then Captain America. Chris is Captain America. You know what I mean? But Marvel did great with their casting. Like, you get what I'm saying uh, at this point. Now, let's get into talking about these movies. I think a lot of the flack that people are giving these movies is coming from, a, like, comic fans. And, and that's kind of not cool. So... Here's my philosophy when it comes to watching movies. First things first, watch a movie for what it's worth. And I call this the snakes on the plane, you know, syndrome. Like, if I go see a movie called Snakes on the Plane, that's exactly what I'm expecting. I'm not expecting it to be Othello or anything like that. I'm not gonna, I'm not expecting it to be nominated for Oscars or Academy Awards, anything like that anytime soon. I'm going to see these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. You understand me? And that's all I expect. So as long as I get snakes on the plane, I don't care about the CGI being wonky because I knew they wasn't going to put real snakes on the plane with real people to put them in danger and things like that. And of course, there's some non-dangerous snakes. So don't, don't give me some antics, please. But the point is, Watch a movie for what it's worth. You're watching a comic book movie. Now, the source material, of course, it matters. The books matter. It's the source material. However, it'd be kind of whack to just copy everything word for word, shot for shot. Because then your complaint would be, there was nothing left for, like, you know, wonder or thrill. You know, you because you knew exactly what was going to happen. It's kind of like Walking Dead fans. People who are fans of the comic books, they would, would be like, Oh, that's not how it was in the comic book. Well, yeah, they wanted to change some stuff to keep suspense going. And I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? I get it, though. Yeah, it's like if you, you know how something's supposed to go, you're waiting for that moment. And then when they give you a little swerve, it's like... That's cool to me because you didn't get spoiled for yourself. Anyway, that's just me. People are different, I guess. So that's number one. The comic books, of course, they matter. They, they are the source of the matter, okay? Um, but sometimes you got to do things differently. Now, Shazam has been in the media lately, getting a lot of flights. So oh, it's going to be DC's worst opening and this and that. I don't know why the opening was what it was this weekend, but I seen it and I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was enjoyable. If you like the first Shazam, you're going to like this one. You know, it was a lot of action. I, I, to me, I, I, I see what everyone's doing. Everyone, especially since Guardians of the Galaxy, everybody's like, oh, we got to have a little bit of comedy in our movies. It can't just be so dark. And DC Universe, we've all been criticized for being dark. So they're trying to be more comedic. Um, sometimes it hits, but sometimes it feels a little forced. Like Black Adam. Black Adam was great. I love Black Adam. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, for, it's a comic book movie. I was entertained. You know, I don't 
people were like, oh, the CGI was this, the CGI was that. It's a comic book movie. I mean, suspend your belief, people. Come on. You know what I mean? We, we know The Rock isn't actually flying around Earth. I'm sh- he might be. I don't know. He is The Rock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, but seriously, Black Adam, bunch of flat. Why? Good movie. Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods. I thought it was great. Helen Mirren, Lucy Liu. Come on now. Come on now. You got two, like, veteran actors like that. Like, Helen Mirren, who, by the way, for an old lady, <laughs> I don't say, oh, excuse me, for an older lady. Yeah, I'm just saying, I'll at me, Helen. But all jokes aside, Lucy Liu was always my, my crush, too. Like, since the 90s, I've always loved Lucy Liu. Beautiful. Anyway. But with that being said, I think the movie was fine. If, like I said, if you enjoy a good movie, go watch it for what it's worth. Don't be in there critiquing movies. You're, you know, we're not, what was their names? Uh, I can't even remember right now. We're not all film critics, as I make a YouTube amateurishly. For my 300 subscribers, which I love, because they're my babies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, come on, guys. Enjoy the film. Pay your money, have some popcorn, enjoy the whole atmosphere. You know what I mean? That's what a movie is. It's an experience. Enjoy it. Go see Shazam. If you've never seen part one, watch part one, then see part two. It was good. It was enjoyable. You know what I mean? And stay after the credits because, of course, they have a post credit scene. So you can see that, too, and know what to expect in the next one. Because there will be a next one. I don't mean, oh, it's not going to do that. It's, it's going to be a next one. It's, it's going to make money. It's going to be fine. All right, Black Adam, if you haven't seen that, see it. It was good, and it, oh my, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, there's a post credit scene, and they introduce Superman, setting up like we're gonna get this Superman, Henry Cavill, by the way, Henry Cavill is Superman, okay? Henry Cavill, The Rock, Black Adam. Now, let me tell you why I like these, because these guys actually put in the work to build their bodies to look like that. They didn't need padding in their suits or anything. <laughs> these guys are jacked. I don't know who they're going to get, but come on, guys. Please reconsider. Can we get the Rock and Henry Cavill? Can you sell the Rock the right so he can make it or something like that? Please. Anyway, see both of those movies. All right, moving right along. It's the same thing with Marvel. You get people saying, oh, Ant-Man, Quantumania. I thought that was so entertaining. Please see that movie. I, Paul Rudd is awesome. He's always awesome. He's always funny. I love that type of comedy. Now this movie is all about Michelle Pfeiffer. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's the main. It's not all about her. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. John, Jonathan Majors is introduced as the new Marvel's new villain, Kang. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That boy did that thing. That boy, I did that thing. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to see it, just for Kang, see it for Kang. You know what I mean? Because Kang was a king in this. <laughs> All right, but it was a good movie. It was super entertaining. Um, I like what they're setting up. He's, I think he's going to make a great villain moving forward. Uh, so like I said, if you haven't seen it, it is definitely worth a watch. Um, we don't do spoilers. You know, like I said, this isn't a review video. Excuse me. Air my goals. So, now, and last but not least, I want to talk about Wakanda forever. What's going what, on? Why, people? Why? Why does everything have to be controversial? Why? I love the Wakanda forever. Now, Chadwick Boseman is the child. That, that is the Black Panther. Rest up, Chad. Um, I, I, I'm on the fence with this. I kind of feel like, man, they should have kind of recasted it. Only because I know that's like the, one of the last comics that I was reading was Black Panther before I grew up into the Marine Corps and everything. But anyway, and T'Challa plays a very major part in the universe. You know what I mean? But uh, even if, and don't get me wrong. If oh, spoiler alert! If you haven't seen Black Panther two, um. Shuri takes up the mantle. Pretty sure that's not really a spoiler. I'm pretty sure it's out there. I mean, kind of obvious with her front and center on the cover. Anyway, uh, which was cool. Uh, the movie was great. I, I, I dug the movie a lot. Um, girl power, you know, yay. Uh, I think it kind of would have been cool. And I know a lot of people, you know, maybe like, no, 
I loved Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger. Uh, now, he's not exactly like the counterpart in the comic book. Same thing with Man Ape, uh, excuse me, Ubaku. Uh, in the comic book, his name is Man Ape, and he basically dresses like an ape. Understand why? Because everybody, everybody's racist nowadays. And oh, God forbid we make a character the way he is in the comic book. But, um, you know, it would have been kind of cool to have done, done it in a way where they somehow like brought back Killmonger. Um, even if you like, so especially since we introduced the multiverse, like maybe he came, they had to go, they needed a champion, so they went to the multiverse and they found the Black Panther, but it turned out it was Killmonger in his verse, because there's been episode issues of the comic where Killmonger was the Black Panther, and they could have brought him back to play that role. I would have, I would have loved that. Um, I mean, if they were going to recast somebody as T'Challa, I think who better than the person who was his uh, his counter in the film? Michael B. Jordan did a fantastic job. So uh, I think he would have been it would have welcome. He would have got a welcome reception. I think personally, that's just me. I could be wrong. I don't know. Don't don't shoot me or nothing like that. Just let it slide. Anyway, I just fans. I get it. I get it. You're fans of the properties. You want things to look exactly the same. I heard people ripping apart Thor because, oh, the God Butcher didn't look the way he looks in the comic book. But I also understood why the studio said we wanted to change him up because he did look a lot like the villain from Harry Potter. You know, I mean, he does. I mean, he has to like, you know, Gore has those like long things. But when you, he looks like Harry Potter and the, the guy from Star Wars with the long, like, I don't know if they're horns or what hanging off his head. So I get why they changed him up a little bit. I mean, plus, I, honestly, I think Christian Bell was like, I want to be seen. I'm a superstar. I'm a movie star of Hollywood. Y'all need to see my face. So he didn't want to be under prosthetics. That's what I think happened. Oh, God. So don't be blaming the studio because... Yeah, they could have did better, but the movie was enjoyable. I loved it. I thought it was a great movie. Thor was good. Um, this movie here, Ant-Man is getting flack about how they did uh, Moda. What? what? I, first of all, to see that character on the screen, I was like, yes. I remember when I seen him in the comic, I thought it was a comedic character until you read the comic and see what, how you know insane and powerful he actually is. They switched it up for the movie. Big whoop. It was entertaining. I love the character. Oh, they threw some comedy in there. Oh, my God. Shame on them for being creative with a movie. Um, That's not a spoiler either. Modoc is in the uh, trailer. But please, guys, watch the films. Enjoy the films for what they are. They're comic book movies. They're made for your entertainment. Don't get mad. Don't get bent out of shape. Don't give it bad reviews because you're robbing people who are just maybe casual fans, such as myself. Yes, I'm familiar with the comic books, but not necessarily all the stories. So I'm watching it just as a movie, and this is like a living comic book for me. So don't steal the joy from the people who can actually go out there, the casual fans who will go out there and enjoy this film for what it's worth, because you will enjoy it. I promise you. I know I'll be looking all over the place, man. Don't be judging me. So anyway, that's just my two cents on it. None of those films suck to me. I thought they were all great. Um, let's get back to just enjoying the movies for what they are and getting in there, having a good time. Did it tell you a good story? Was it compelling? Did they leave it open? I, I Yes, yes. Uh, Ant-Man, Quantumania, fabulous. It was great. Uh, I, I even like how they ended it. Like, it's Paul Rudd. It has to be somewhat funny. And they all have post-credit scenes that take you to the next story. So... Looking forward to the next one, guys, just like I hope you're looking forward to the next video. So, uh, again, I'm Smith. I want to thank you for tuning in today. And uh, if you didn't get anything out of this video, I hope you get this message right here. And that is to be inspired, be inspirational, be. Be who you want to be today. Peace. Uh -oh. Hi, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, what she said.